Stars Mill has seen a ton of changes in the 2018 through 2019 school year. From the media center to the gym, it's hard to find something not new at the mill. But security is one of the fields that has lacked in the renovations. That is until now, as Stars Mill has a new security system and plan that will be implemented in the coming months. So over here, they're gonna build a barrier, and so they're gonna build another door over here so that you're gonna have to go in through the attendance office and out of the attendance office. On the proposal is to add a second, or I guess on the front, a third set of doors uh, in between the current um, the current doorway where the bathrooms are and the entrance to the main office, and then between that area and then the rotunda. Mm -hmm. um, at the attendance office, they are looking at adding a second set of doors in between the entrance from the outside to, uh, to the school. And so um, the goal of that is to basically force all incoming traffic into the office um, what a lot of security experts out there have suggested for schools is that there be um, a limited access for people who are coming in from the outside to, to really force them to, to come into the office area, be checked in, um, make sure that they have the proper credentials before being able to access the rest of the building. For the most part during the school day, uh, even before school, our students who drive, our students who are dropped off, you know, they enter through the attendance office area or they enter through the office. Now, when our students arrive during normal arrival and dismissal, they won't have to come in through the offices to be able to access the rest of the building, but they, um, when it comes to visitors or you know, guests during the day, students who arrive late, that sort of thing, then yeah, they will need to come in through the offices. As it says on every entrance door in the building that they're supposed to report to the office. Unfortunately, what we find is not everybody always follows what mm -hmm. the signs say. Yeah. For our students who have a non-traditional schedule, especially those that arrive later in the day, we're looking at potentially a key fob system that allowed them quicker access into the building where they won't, won't have to come through the buzz, you know, they'll be able to operate the buzzers themselves. Um, we're not exactly sure how well that's going to work, uh, but we already have a, a, a somewhat of a limited access with those students anyway because they have to come in through the attendance, they have to check in every time they come in. Um, and so it's going to be a matter of us figuring out once it's installed what's going to be best for our students and while keeping our students safe. We get a, we as a school system get a lot of input from a lot of security experts to make sure, unfortunately, that we have to keep our schools very safe um, based on all the things that have unfortunately happened at schools across the country. And one of the things that they have suggested at almost every school is to you know, try to limit that access to the rest of the building. Uh, if you visit a lot of our, you know, our our elementary school just up the way here at Peoples, they've already put in this second set of doorways that has a, um, a limited access and button press access to be able to get into the rest of the building once you get into the office area too. So uh, we, we installed access control on our front door um, a couple years ago. This is going to be kind of a second layer of access control to be able to have for visitors from the outside to be able to get into the building. I wish that we were in a situation that we didn't need this. You know, I would certainly hope and wish that our schools were safe and I, that our schools um, were a place that our students could come and learn and we wouldn't have to worry about school safety from the outside. Unfortunately, that's just not the reality of the world today. The security wall will be built just to maintain the security of the students and the staff inside the building. I think it'll be good. I think it'll give people a sense of security. I know some of my parent volunteers have asked about it in the past, so I think it'll be a good thing. I think it'll take a little getting used to for students just to know what the process is and to train the parents when they come to check their kids out, but overall I think it'll be a good thing. Just based on the number of students that check in through dual enrollment and students that opt out, if there was some kind of electronic access or some way to sort of um, facilitate the check-in, check-out process, that would be helpful. So they're going to be building a barrier here so that when people come in, they have to go through the office and then out.